Hello everyone, it's Nectaria again with Sophistication and you are getting me fresh in the morning because I have been working on editing this video for a while and I was like, I don't have time to put my face on. So <laughs> anyhow, in today's video, I'm sharing a little bit more of my process because I've gotten some questions about master batching live. So I, the first part of the video, I share with you how I master batch my live or how I use my master batch live. I am planning in the future, I think, <laughs> to share a video on how I master batch my oils, but um, I was going to do that in this video and it was just taking too long. So uh, if you are not interested in how I use my master batch live, I will figure out the timing and put a little note here of where you can fast forward to, um, to basically skip most of that. Anyway, the soap that I am sharing with you today is my Soap of the Magi Soap. This is a fragrance that I used last year uh, during the holiday season, and I loved it so much. I've been looking forward to making this soap again all year. Um, so anyway, Without further ado, come on in. I'll show you how I made my Soap of the Magi soap. I'm gonna share with you um, some things that I do now because I master batch my lye. So I don't, I think normally I start now just showing you mixing my lye into my oils, but for those of you who are interested in master batching lye, this is how I do it. So I basically make a lye solution of, this is just 50% um, lye and water. So if I have 100 grams of water in here, I have 100 grams of lye. And I now work in grams. So this works the same in ounces. But now on my recipe here, which this is the royalty soaps uh, recipe. But on my recipe here, this calls for 475.52 grams of water and 256.05 grams of lye. Now I have, I'm gonna be able to pour out of here the 256 grams of lye and when I get the 256 grams of lye, I'm getting 256 grams of water as well. So into my pitcher, my lye pitcher, I need to put some water in to make up the difference between those two. So what I do is I'm gonna put in of my 50-50 lye solution to 56.05 times two. That's 512.1. And then out of the 475.52, I take out the 256.05 because that's already coming from this other picture and I get 219.47 or 0.5. So I'm gonna add just water, 219 grams or actually 220 of water. And then I'm gonna add 512 grams of my lye solution. And that's going to get me that mixture. So now I take my pitcher and I am going to add that 220 of water. Now, I personally, before I add this lye actually, I'm now adding, I like to add powdered sugar and Tussa Silk Fibers to my soap. So I will add that to the water first because I don't wanna add sugar to a lye solution, whereas I can add the lye solution to a sugar solution. Let's get my powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar or icing sugar, depending on where you are, what you call it. And now I need to mix that sugar solution in. Now I'm gonna add my Tussa Silk Fibers. Now, I've already added 220 grams of water. I'm gonna add 512 grams of my lye solution, the 50-50 solution, and that 512 grams will be 256 grams of water and 256 grams of lye. The challenge with using this um, method is that you can see little crystallized lye um, here, so when the lye solution gets you know, cooled down, it actually sometimes for me, um, because I soap in my basement and it's very cool down here, it will kind of crystallize a bit. So I do have to reheat my lye solution a bit just to get it to 
like I get to about 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is where I want it to be ballpark, um, but not below that. And so there is still a risk, I feel, of some crystallized lye that is not dissolved. So I do actually put a strainer on here. That way I don't have to strain it later to just make sure I don't get any lye crystals in there. Make sure you tear that out. And now again, I am adding the 512 of the lye solution into here. So now I'm just gonna mix this up a bit. But as you can see, I'm at 127. So this is still, it still gets hot because I'm adding the lye to the water. I'm gonna put this aside. So this is my soap of the Magi soap and it will be scented with this Three Wise Men fragrance oil, which I, uh, I absolutely love. It's spicy, it's, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it is fantabulous. Uh, so I am gonna try something that is new for me. And maybe I shouldn't do this on such a big batch of soap, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is extra special risky for me. I am gonna add some goat milk powder to this soap. Now, normally when I've made goat milk soap, I replace my water with milk. So this is just gonna have a bit of goat milk. I've never done this before. Usually my goat milk powder is used for my bath bombs. I use buttermilk powder and goat milk powder depending on what I'm making. And so, but I wanna try this, which was the original reason I got the goat milk. So I'm gonna add it to my oils and just mix it in there. Now I am going to pour my lye solution into my oils. This one, the main one, will be the Ultramarine Blue Plus Activated Charcoal. And that's going to be the bulk of my soap. Yes, 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 please. We'll finish that up in a bit wanted to make sure that that color was what I was looking for and it looks good to me. So that was that one. Then we are going to go with our ultramarine blue right here. And then we have our ultramarine violet. And then we have our gold sparkle mica. And then we have our TD. Might need a bit more of that purple. Yes, we are going to need more of that purple. Get to that in a moment. Okay, I'm just going to mix up a bit more of the ultraviolet purple. But I'm going to add actually a teensy bit of neon purple. To just give it a little kick. Still not the purple, the royal purple that I want. I'm going to add a bit of pow pow purple from Mad Micah's. Okay, that's getting to be a better purple to me. Let's just add the rest of this in and then I will stick blend everything to just, the colors should be incorporated, but sometimes that stick blender will help a little bit. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the one of the most important parts, in my opinion. So let's do this. Can you believe it? Oh, I would have been extremely upset to say the least. This is why I'm so glad I don't usually blend very much because this kind of stuff can happen. I have to say this, last year I was at 
a craft uh, maker's market. I sold at a maker's market around Christmas time. And this fragrance, like everybody who smelled it was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it sold, I sold out. So this year I'm making about double what I made last year. And uh, I might have to make one more batch, we'll see. But anyway. Last year I used this uh, fragrance from a different company. I honestly don't remember how it reacted, if at all. I don't think it reacted at all, but we shall see now. I definitely want more of like a medium trace here. And I am nowhere near that, so I am just going to stick blend a bit, go lightest to darkest. Here we go, time to pour. Just gonna do a base first of this. And then I am going to, I think I'm gonna do like lines of it, so. I forgot to, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to mica drizzle that again. Okay, this may be too late. I may have, oh, it is thick in there. So I am just gonna swirl that like that, like that. And now <laughs> we're just gonna, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're gonna swirl the heck out of that thing, the top. I may have messed it up just now. Just now, that could have been the death of me. Let's go bang that down. We're gonna hope, pray, that that will be okay. So let's, let's definitely get some more of that swirl, that mica on there because that's going to be the only thing that saves this thing. Awesome. Oh my gosh. How fabulous is that? I love how these came out. Aren't they fabulous? And they smell so good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot to put that fragrance in. <laughs> anyway, uh, with these soaps, I actually had a soap that I purchased from Soap Stamps and Stuff that I was going to use for this soap. But what I found is that when I add stamps to such detailed designs, 
I feel like the stamp just gets lost in it. So I did one stamp, which I will share with you now. And I absolutely love this stamp. Isn't that great? Um, so I did just one soak with that because I feel like it just doesn't, it's nice. I like it, but it just doesn't add, um, I don't think it adds enough. Like I think my plan will be to do more of a simple design and stamp that with this. So um, the good news is that means if I do that, I'll probably use the same fragrance. So I'll have another soap with this fragrance, but with this stamp in it. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a joyous holiday season.